Well, that's still ongoing. Uh, and I have to point out that this sort of special session doesn't take place very often. It's the first time there's been such a session uh, in four decades. And really, uh, it's a push uh, principally from Western powers to uh, galvanize uh, the world against Russia and Russia's aggression towards uh, Ukraine. And we really have been seeing world powers get up one by one to speak there uh, and uh, criticize uh, Russia. Russia's aggression in Ukraine. Uh, Russia, of course, uh, defended its position with Nebensia, the ambassador, uh, saying that there was a lot of fake news about what was going on and that Russia's not targeting uh, civilians uh, and uh, uh, saying that uh, 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 what Russia is actually doing is trying to uh, denazify uh, Ukraine. That's the official Russian line. Uh, but even the UN Secretary General has, himself uh, came out during that meeting saying uh, we do have credible reports uh, that there are uh, Russian attacks on uh, residential buildings and on uh, civilians. And that is of extreme concern to member states. So uh, there's this resolution that's been put forward uh, condemning Russian action. And it is uh, hoped by the West uh, that this will get uh, a, a lot of support from member states. And so far, it does seem that that is the case. Perhaps the most striking moment, though, uh, so far during that General Assembly meeting uh, was in the speech given uh, by Ukraine's ambassador in which uh, he showed a, a, a photograph of a text exchange uh, between a Russian soldier and his mother. And he said that this exchange uh, uh, was from a soldier who'd been killed in action. Uh, and it was really quite heartbreaking. It's this young man, uh, Alyosha, a Russian soldier whose mother contacts him saying, Alyosha, are you really in training exercises? Uh, the mother asks. And he says, no, Mama, I'm in Ukraine. And then he goes on to explain uh, that they'd been told that they would be welcome here, uh, but that the people don't want them, that they're, they're being called uh, fascists. Uh, and then uh, his last words uh, before uh, the Ukrainian ambassador says he was killed were, uh, Mama, this is so hard. So he showed that, that text message and then asked delegates in the General Assembly Hall to imagine uh, that next to each one of them uh, were, were 30 Russian uh, soldiers, referring uh, to all of those Russian soldiers who've been killed uh, so far during this conflict in Ukraine.